Let us consider the structure of cubic zinc sulfide also known as zinc blend. In this structure, we have the cation zinc dub double plus 2 plus which has a, a ratio which has a radius of 0.883 angstrom anion H sulfide uh, anion with the radius of 1.74 angstrom. If we take the radius ratio, we get a value of 0.48. This value comes between 0.414 and 0.732. So, this implies an octahedral coordination of 6 sulfide ions around a zinc cation. But in this case, we are unfortunate this prediction turns out to be wrong. This is not the right prediction and the actual structure has a tetrahedral coordination tetrahedral coordination of four sulfide ions around a zinc cation. So, this example, this counter example shows that radius ratio is actually a rule of thumb. It is not a some hard and fast rule which cannot be violated in some cases like in case of the zinc sulfide, we do not get a structure which is predicted by the radius ratio. Instead, we get a tetrahedral coordination of 4 sulfur around a zinc. What kind of a structure is this? So, let us look at this. This structure can be related to the diamond cubic structure which we have studied before. So, the diamond cubic structure is an FCC lattice, but has two atom motive. So, the carbon atoms are at the FCC lattice points as I have already shown at the corners and face centers, but then there are four carbon atoms inside the unit cell which are sitting on one each on the body diagonals. So, there is a carbon atom here on this body diagonal and there is another carbon atom here on this body diagonal. On two body diagonals, the carbon atoms are one fourth up from the bottom. On the other two body diagonals, the carbon atoms are three fourths up from the bottom. So, these four inside carbon atoms, although all of them are carbon, but let me shade the body diagonal ones just to emphasize that they are located on the body diagonal. And this is how then, but both of them are carbon. So, in diamond cubic crystal, diamond is anyway element, all uh, atoms are of the same type, but some are located on the face centered cubic side and others on these body diagonals. The cubic zinc sulfide structure can be related to this. So, the sulfide ions can now be made to sit on each of these face centered cubic side. So, I am placing the red sulfide ions first on the corners of the cube and then on the face centers, the top and bottom face centers, the left and right face centers and front and back face centers. So, this completes the locations of the sulfide ions. This is sulfide ions. The zinc ions are located exactly on the body diagonal just like in the case of diamond. So, on two body diagonals, they are one fourth up from the bottom. In other two body diagonals, they are three fourth up from the bottom. So, the structure again is an the structure is again an FCC lattice. and the motif is again of two atoms. The 
only difference is that now these two atoms are not of the same element, they are of different element. I am writing atom, but uh, when if you wish you can write it as ion. So, the sulphide ion is sitting at the lattice point, whereas the zinc ions now are located at the quarter, quarter, quarter side, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So, this is the cubic zinc sulphide crystal. Again, these two structures should be considered as different crystal structure despite their similarity. We will have diamond cubic crystal only if both the atoms are same. We will have a zinc sulphide structure if the two atoms are of different type, the body diagonal ones and the corner and face center ones are different. So, like other structures, the cubic zinc sulphide also is a prototype structure and many other compounds, many other equiatomic compound form cubic zinc sulphide structure. So, they are zinc oxide, beryllium oxide, gallium arsenide, silicon carbide, boron nitride among many others.